The Blaschkas are, um, are actually a father and son team from uh, Dresden uh, who made a whole bunch of glass models in the middle to late 19th century. The models they made are really, really, uh, they're fantastic. They based all of their, their models of marine animals mostly, but they did some things like slugs and snails as well. They based them on scientific illustrations. If the illustrations were right, the models were right, and if they were wrong, the models are wrong. Uh, we have one of the biggest collections in uh, the world um, of Blaschka glass models, second only to a couple of places in the United States, and uh, they are one of the real highlights of our collection, which sadly, they're in the upper balcony mostly, so not many of them are available to be seen, but we do have some downstairs in our Irish room. When you have um, a museum or a teaching uh, organisation and you're teaching biology, you need to be able to cover everything in the world really that's alive. It's very easy with uh, something that you can taxidermy. So birds and mammals are quite good because they have fur and feathers and things. So they hide the stitches from when you've sewn them all up. So it becomes much harder when you have an animal with soft parts because it's very hard to preserve them. You can pickle them, uh, which is what we call preserving in alcohol or formalin. Those are the sorts of things that you, we do have specimens which are preserved like that. But they always tend to lose their colour and they can become a bit like a blob, a blob of jelly. So really the Blaschka models were a way of showing what these things actually look like without having um, access to the real specimens. Now, because we have other ways of, of capturing that information, we have really good photography, there's good cinematography, we have CT scanners, we have a whole variety of ways of capturing kind of living things. What they've become really useful for is um, for understanding how people made glass models. And it's a technique which you know, isn't as common today. Um, it's nowhere near as common as it used to be. And they were incredibly skilled. They used a whole variety of different materials. It wasn't just glass. Glass is the main thing that they used, but they would use other things with it, like wire and wood and glue and pigment and paint and all sorts of things to create these quite lifelike um, objects. It's never as simple as, oh, they're glass models. Um, it's much more complex. 